check it out. Beautiful cooler. I want to point out too, it's really quiet, really nice AIO. Check that out. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be checking out the Cooler Master Master Liquid PL240 Flux AIO. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here, walking us through some of the key tech specs on the side and some of the key features, which are addressable RGB, optimal efficiency pump, and we have enhanced sickle flow fan blades. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our warranty information. This does come with a five year warranty. Next, we have our user guide and manual for the PL240 Flux and the PL360 Flux, walking us through all the included parts and pieces, how to install the fans for both units, and then how to install for Intel and AMD, depending on the socket and CPU that you're using. This does support Intel 12th gen in case you're wondering, we have all the parts and pieces that we need, which is great. And then they show you how to connect all the cables and wire everything up. Next, you can see we have our hub right here with USB and power and our three options right here to control. Then we have a bunch of different screw kits right here. So our fan screws, our Intel and AMD brackets and all the parts and pieces we need. Here's our Intel 1700 for our 12th gen. Then we have some thermal compound. This is the Master Gel Pro from Cooler Master. We have our TR4 bracket and we have included RGB cables and power connectors for us. We have a fan splitter cable and we have our two sickle flow fans. So we got the Cooler Master logo and branding on the back, zero to 2300 RPM. So check that out, they look really nice. This will light up and glow, which will be cool. Both those fans are identical to each other. And lastly, you can see we have the AIO itself. Be sure to peel that sticker off before installation. Check out that really cool design though, nice and low profile. That's gonna look great once it lights up and glows for us. That'll be really, really cool. And then you can see our radiator says designed by Cooler Master on both sides. And we have our two cables coming out too, to control our pump and to control our RGB. Really a nice design, really low profile and sleek. I really like how that looks. Now let's go ahead and let's get everything installed. So check it out. You can see how everything looks right here. I'm really pleased with it overall. Impressive design, plenty of room. Even in a small case like this, we were able to get everything installed just how we wanted it. So what do I like? I really like the RGB. I think the logo looks cool and sleek. Plenty of RGB on the pump housing as well too. And in case you're wondering, we can rotate this as desired. Now let's go ahead, let's look at it up close. All right, so let's look at it up close, check it out, beautiful cooler. I wanna point out too, it's really quiet, really nice AIO, beautiful RGB up close. And you can see our really quiet fans and the beautiful glow that they have. Obviously we can configure the RGB however we want. In this case, we wanted to match the purple of our case with all of our RGB lights. So check that out. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now let's see how it's performing. So first up, you may notice we have all the panels on our build right here, and you can see our current idle temps for our CPU. We're rocking 31, 32 degrees Celsius. Now let's go ahead, let's put it under load, and let's see how hot this gets and how good of a job our cooler does keeping it cool. So now you can see we've been maxing out the CPU for over 10 minutes at 100% using Cinebench, and you can see we're fluctuating between 67 and 60 68 degrees Celsius, so well within range. It's doing a really nice job keeping everything cool. I want to point out too, this is a very quiet AIO. You're really never going to hear it at all because again, I can't even hear it right now and we're at 100% load for our CPU. Everything's staying nice and cool. Also, I want to argue that depending on the build that you're using, you'll probably see even lower results than what I'm getting because if you notice, mine is venting out that hot air at the bottom of our case, which is definitely not ideal. So if you could mount this to the top or to the side, I'm gonna guess you'll probably see even better results, but everything is working great. It's nice and quiet and it's keeping our PC nice and cool, even under really high intensity tasks and loads. Well, that concludes our 
our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.